Last time we survived in hardcore mode with portal gun for a grand total of what you see here time played minus time since last death because we're in spectator mode at the moment. That would be 14.81 minutes, barely a Minecraft day, not even one Minecraft day we survived. We were attempting the nearly impossible challenge of killing the Ender Dragon and the Wither in hardcore mode using a portal gun with the obstacles of obviously you're in hardcore mode, but you cannot shoot any arrows at the Ender Dragon or any arrows without shooting them through a portal. And if you build anything, it has to be built with the portal gun, picking up blocks, moving it over, stuff like that. That is quite a challenge, and that is what we are going to be trying again today. Can we survive for longer than 15 minutes this time for a full Minecraft day? Stay tuned, and we'll find out. <laughs> We are starting a new world since hardcore mode. You only have one life. It is in hardcore mode, this new world. And here's the more world options. You can pause the video and read that if you want. Not going to bother with that right now. But let's go ahead and create a new world and see how long we can survive. Will we survive for longer than 14 minutes? Will we survive long enough? If we can survive our first night, then perhaps we can survive to kill the Ender Dragon and the Wither. That is possible if we can survive our first night. So that is our goal today. This particular episode, our singular goal is, ooh, we are in the snow. That's not a goal, but that is a fact, is that we are in the snow. But our singular goal for this episode is to survive our first night. Oh, and I forgot to give myself a portal gun. I have to cheat that in just because of the fact that if you look at the portal gun recipe, Portal gun is costing a miniature black hole, which requires a nether star, which is you have to kill the wither in order to get the portal gun to do the challenge of using the portal gun to kill the wither. So that is kind of pointless. I'm just going to go ahead and cheat that in. And here is a trick for you guys. If you do not know, you can go ahead and click in because you have no option game mode. One, you cannot use commands, but if you go ahead and open to LAN, allow cheats, and then start LAN world, and then do the same command again, then it works, and then you can switch into creative mode, and then you can grab your portal guns and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and set this up and be ready to start. So we have two priorities to start with. We have the priority of making a shelter for the night. That is the big mistake that we made last time, is we did not have a shelter. And we have the second priority of making a food supply, because I don't know about you guys, but I always play in peaceful mode, and I'm not used to this hardcore thing. Your food goes down pretty fast in hardcore mode, apparently. So, um, first question, can a portal work on the snow? No. Portals do not work on the snow, so that is good to know for escaping places. Okay, so our first order of business, I guess, would be we need to make some ways to travel around quicker. That would be helpful. So let's go ahead and break the snow. Remember, the rule is that we are not allowed to build anything unless we use the portal gun to build it. We can break things just fine. We can place down random blocks here and there, but we can't build any structures or anything. Um, you cannot pick up snow, so let's go ahead and break the snow. And now grab that, pick it up. So we could, in theory, do this with just regular tools because the rule is you cannot really build any structures. But, I mean, might as well just build it with the portals. Okay, we need actually to make this a little bit taller because we cannot place a portal on it because the snow is in the way. And I don't know if I break the snow if it'll come back. It might come back, which would be a problem. Then we would be out a ways away and then find out that we cannot escape from the monsters because our portal target thing is not working. So now we can shoot portals at this thing, which is excellent. And we can even use it to travel through one way and out the other. So we can go ahead and head around the corner this way, which is very neat indeed. But let's go ahead and head away from here. Let's aim for that tree and get to the top of the mountain up there. Let's go ahead and head through our portal and here we go all right come on jump through thank you very much Alrighty, we are now up on top of this mountain we can go ahead and try to get some materials that is very necessary we need to build a shelter for the night that would be very important and how would be the most efficient way to do that that we can build it with a portal gun because 
as we found out last time, it takes a long time to try to use the portal gun to build an entire house structure just by moving blocks around. Um, you know what? At the very least, let's go ahead and build it on top of the top of this place over here because that way we can see it from anywhere and we can make it a target that we can head to easily. Um, what would uh, what would work really well is to build like walls around this whole area like that. Um, that would work really well, but that would take a long time and we do not want to take a long time with this thing. So uh, let's, you know what, let's do a simple matter of a simple two by two thing I think might be good or three by three actually. Three by three by four. So there we go, let's go ahead and check on, oh, that's a sheer cliff, okay. Um, that would not be a good place to portal up to if we're heading around that way, then we'll have to portal up here. Um, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go ahead and take down two, um, let's make a portal target, I think would be good. Let's make it right about here. Oh, actually, if we just build a house here, then we can go ahead and target our own house to build up to. Okay, let's go ahead and build this like this. It's a lot easier to do when you do not have monsters climbing all over you all the time. So let's go ahead and get this done. I'm going to build some more and be back with you in a minute when more interesting things are happening and we head on to some adventures or something or other. One thing that's very difficult is that the portal key, the key to pick things up is G, which is really far away from anything else that, whoops, I just put a portal down there somewhere. Um, but that is a very difficult key to use for any of this stuff, picking up blocks, because it is away from the moving keys, and there does not appear to be any way to fix that. So, not sure what to do about that. In any case, let's check the other side. We've got one wall done over here, which is excellent. We should, in theory, be able to hit that from down below. Um, so that would be good. Hopefully we can hit that. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit tall. No, I think it's okay. Um, okay, but here's the thing. So that is our house. Uh, that's one wall of our house. So this is a sheer cliff. What about the other side? How do we get up from the other side? We can... We need to have something to shoot the portal to. Let's go ahead and pick this up and fix this into a thing that we can use to travel more easily. Come on, get the block around there. There we go. Excellent indeed. Okay, so we can use this to portal up to. That should be excellent. And we can hit that tree as well if we want to. All right, let's go ahead and continue building our house and be back once it is done. Okay, so night is coming on very fast, as you can see. And we now have a shelter with the exception of we do not have a door, which is kind of essential. So let's go ahead and make a door very quickly. Let's go ahead and turn these planks into uh, these logs into planks and then place down a crafting table. Let's place that in the not in the floor. Let's place that in the roof that is like that. All right, let's go ahead and place this down. We have successfully built this thing, but we need a door very quickly. Let's make a door. Unfortunately, we are going to not use the portal gun to place down the door, but we use the portal gun to build the structure, which is excellent. Okay, we are now safe in hardcore mode in our little dirt house that was made using our portal gun, which is excellent indeed. I'm gonna stay here and wait for the night. And actually, can we make use of the time? Can we dig down at all? If we pick up that block, eh, we can put it where? We can pick it up. We can move it over that way. We can, hmm. If we right click, it just, oh dear. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, we have a problem. Um, okay. How do we, how do you get rid of, oh yeah, reset, reset the portal again. Come on, oh yeah, we need to actually hold the portal again. There we go. I placed the portal down on our wall and broke the door. Where'd the door go? Where'd the door go? Where'd the door go? I think it just broke completely. Okay, let's go ahead and place down the door. We are not going to survive if we do it this way. Whoop, there's another door. Okay, double layer doors. That is excellent. We have a double layer door. We will not be um, dying anytime soon, which is excellent. Now, that's an interesting thought, is that if we place a portal in our house, whoops, 
Let's go ahead and place it up a little bit higher. But if we place a portal in our house, we should be able to travel quite a ways away. Can you actually shoot it through a door? No, it just hits the door. Okay, and you cannot place a portal on a door, apparently. So here's an interesting thought. We could be here surviving the night. We could go and escape kind of thing is what we could do. Hmm. But it is dangerous outside because there's monsters, are there? There should be monsters around here someplace. Are there monsters around here someplace? Hello? Anybody? Nobody? Nobody in the area? Okay, let's go ahead and place down a portal somewhere where we can get a good view of the outside so that we can see properly but not get uh, killed very easily. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and place down the portal down there in the wall. That would be excellent. So do not go through the portal. That would be very dangerous. But we can go ahead and head in here and close our double door situation. And haha, -ha. now we are in our little dirt house, but our dirt house is bigger than any other dirt house in the top of the mountain here, or rather on the top of the mountain, because we can see, oh, you know what, when we stand in the same block as a door, we cannot see anything. It kind of blanks it out. Okay, but in any case, we can now see outside this way, which is excellent indeed. And now that we can see outside, we can see if there are any monsters, and there are no monsters at the moment, which is excellent indeed. Now, here's a question. Can you take blocks and send them through the portal? Because that would be a good way to expand our house while we are in here in the middle of the night. Because here's the problem, is that the moving of the blocks is very difficult with the portal gun in a small space because it likes to send them out a certain distance. Okay. Um, let's... Drop that. I think it did send it through a portal, but we have a problem of now that we're now we're stuck in the hole in the floor, which is not ideal. But I think let me go ahead and sneak so I don't fall off the edge. But where'd that block go? And there's nobody. There's no monsters coming. That's good. There appear to be no monsters at all right now, which is weird. Really weird indeed. But let's go ahead and head back in here. How can we expand our house? We can send blocks out through the portal but how can we expand our house during the middle of the night um oh can zombies break down doors oh i think they can break down doors in hardcore mode is that possible that might be possible um let's find out if we can actually so maybe a double door thing is a good idea um, we need to expand the house, but the trouble is that every way you look at it, it's only one block wide of dirt, which is not great. So that is kind of a problem. Oh, actually, going back like this might work. We have an extra block outside. Um, just trying to think how we can expand the house from the inside it appears to be safe though for the moment there don't appear to be any monsters at all which is excellent okay um that's weird how long until they show up they may show up and surprise us they may jump out of the blue and be like haha got you and you're dead um creepers like to do that um but okay this is a quick way to get into the house apparently but also monsters can do that too so let's reset the portals um, okay, let's go ahead and expand our house from the inside. Let's see. Alrighty, I think I'm going to be back in a minute. Maybe wait out the night and see what we can do in the morning. Aha! Here's how we can expand the house while still being inside. Also, the sun is coming up, so we can head outside soon. But we can go ahead and grab a block like this. It will immediately send it out farther, and we can use that to place it down like whoops that's a little too far i think aha we can use the portal gun to actually expand move the blocks out farther that would be excellent let's go ahead and place it down right in line there there we go we now have a little bit of expanded house but we do in fact need to head out of the house because it is now morning Let's go ahead and leave our house open. We're going to spend the next night expanding our house when we do not need to try to survive away from monsters, which there do not appear to have been any that showed up overnight, which is interesting. But let's go ahead and 
make this target a little bit easier to hit because I don't know when you're down at the bottom of the hill if you'll be able to actually reach this. So let's go ahead and whoops. Ah, no, 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 stop running away. Okay, we lost the block of dirt. We lost a block of dirt. Let's go ahead and place this down like this. There we go. Pick up another block of dirt and place this down like that. There we go. Excellent indeed. Okay, we should be able to hit that from far down there. So therefore, we can go ahead and explore. We can go ahead and get the food that we need and then go ahead and not die. So let's go ahead and shoot a portal. There we go. Let's go ahead and head through here. Excellent indeed. All right. We are now down. We can see that target from down here, which is excellent. We can now head back up easily. We can go ahead and start gathering some seeds to make a wheat farm. I think that using this portal gun mod in hardcore mode, it might be best to live on the top of the mountain over there because the higher up we live, the easier it is to portal into our base, which is excellent because you can target it from almost anywhere. All we would have to do is climb up onto a tree. If we can climb onto a tree, get over the forest like this, then we can just go ahead and shoot our portal up there. But for now, our portal is up there, so we are safe, but... I don't know about you guys if you've ever tried this portal gun mod, but I always use the wrong button, and so the portal won't stay there for long. I'll end up uh, breaking it and like moving it to somewhere else and then have to shoot it again to get back home. So let's go ahead and grab some seeds. Ideally, 10 seeds to start with, and then we should start heading on to mining. And we got 10 seeds already. Let's just go ahead and grab the remainder of this grass since we're here. And then let's go ahead and head on and set up our farm. This is quite a lot of grass indeed. This is a nice place for grass. This is very nice for grass. Okay, anyways, getting distracted. Let's go ahead and head up to the top of the place. And there we go. Oh, you can see me way down there. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. All right, let's go ahead and head through there. There we go. That is excellent. Okay, now that we are here, we can go ahead and set up our wheat farm on the top of the mountain. That is was a good piece of grass to break because apparently you get some seeds from it. Okay, um, the only problem with building our wheat farm up here is that there's no water, so it will not grow very fast. Where can we build it that there is some water? That is a question. Whoops, sprinting. When you sprint, you use your hunger too fast. Don't want to sprint. Um, but let's see what we can do. We can head to water, and looks like that would be the closest water down there. So let's go ahead and shoot the portal gun. And three, two, one, shoot. And we landed the portal gun shot. All right, let's go ahead and head up here and head through here to the downstairs. There we go. Excellent indeed. Oh, there's a chicken. We could get raw chicken that way. But let's go ahead and use our bases up there. So let's go ahead and use the grass that is closest to it. And that would be excellent. Okay, let's build our farm over here need to go ahead and grab some we do have some wood but we do not have a crafting table let's go ahead and grab some more wood let's go ahead and set up the farm and we will be good to go and i'm gonna do the same thing that we did last time in the last video if you guys didn't see that then definitely go check it out it was a lot of fun very adventurous and we ended up dying in a dramatic fashion but in any case um yeah so i'm gonna be back and then head on with the next task. We now have a wheat farm. Now, the question is, what are we going to do while we are waiting for the wheat to grow? We have our house. We have our wheat farm. We need to... Actually, what do the achievements show us? Okay, mine, stone, get some stuff. We need to get some metals. That is very important indeed. Let's go ahead and... There's also a whole bunch of farming quests and things like that advancements is what they're called all right so let's go ahead and head back home like this there we go head all the way upstairs there we go excellent indeed now let's go ahead we can use our little house here to be the entrance to our mine possibly although that might not be the safest thing in the world so let's go ahead actually let's build our mine out from the house oh actually let's build the mine down on the ground that would be more helpful because it would take us ages to get down through the mountain just to get down to the ground so that would not be ideal when you're trying to head to the end to get rid of the ender dragon that would not be ideal to spend ages heading down to the entrance to the mine so here we go okay 
We are now downstairs. Um, you know what? Let's make the entrance to the mine right close to the portal, actually, so that we can head up very easily. So let's go ahead and start digging down here. And you know what? Let's gonna go ahead. Let's go ahead rather and dig with the portal gun if we can even do that. It might be difficult once we get into close quarters or whatever the expression is. It might end up being difficult, but for now we should be able to do this. Hopefully. And oh, did that actually work? Okay, so there's the gravity thing that affects every block with the portal. Like if you just drop it there, it'll fall down. But it appears that if you sort of balance it on the edge of another block, then it will stay at the same level. Ooh, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. Okay, now that is the wrong place for the block because it's right in the way. Okay, there we go. Now we can head down in here. All right, now here's a problem is that how are we going to dispose of these blocks? You know what? Let's go ahead and do this the fun way where we go ahead and just back out of the tunnel all the time. Unless you guys have any ideas for how we ought to do the digging with the portal gun to be able to, um, what's the word? To be able to do it without having to leave the mine every time. You know what might work though is, you know what, we don't even need to do this. Let's go ahead and forget that. We are down to stone already. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this one. We are down to stone. We can dig with regular tools, but we cannot build with regular tools. So let's go ahead and grab some digging tools. And then I, 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 I think it's heading to nighttime already. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly grab some stone if we can. And yeah, I think we should be heading back home. So let's go ahead and head back home. And now we are back home. Now we can go ahead and hide and survive the night. And so there we go. Alrighty, I'm going to survive the night and be back with you in the morning. You know one thing we need to do? We need to be able to test things in our house, test things with the portal gun, so that overnight, while we are waiting for the night, we can go ahead and try things out. But our house is obviously too small for that, so we need to go ahead and expand our house, which is easier said than done when you're trying to hide from monsters in the middle of the night. So let's go ahead and try to do that carefully. The portal gun likes to hold blocks a certain distance away from itself, so if we just go ahead and do this properly, then we should be able to expand our house this way. The idea would be if we head outside here, you can see that we should actually leave the doors open in case we need to head back inside quickly. But, oh, is that a zombie? Is that a zombie? I can't even tell. I think that is a zombie. Okay, let's not stand too close to the edge so that they cannot sneak up from behind us because there could be a creeper heading up here soon. Possibly. There's a spider over there. Okay, so we are seeing monsters now. We are seeing monsters now. But the idea would be we have our small little entrance there and we have our bigger room down below. That would be our idea. And so let's go ahead and expand this a little bit, just enough to be able to make a staircase. And then let's go ahead and make a staircase down into a bigger room that we are going to make down here. Oh, that would be... There we go. Plugged up the hole. Okay, we are going to keep building this. I'm going to go ahead and expand a room and be back when, hopefully, when it's morning. We are trying, in order to fight the Ender Dragon and the Wither, we need some armor. And we need to head down into the mines. Um, we also need space to play around with things. And in the bottom of our base over here, below the surface, we have the start of a room. And it also has a window looking out onto the face of a cliff, which the mobs should not be able to enter, but we can get some light in this way, which is excellent. Now, the sun is coming up, so let's go ahead and head back down to our mine. Hopefully the monsters have gone already. Let's go ahead and drop down a whole bunch of things into the chest. Actually, we need our wood. Let's ke uh, keep that with us. Keep that with us, there we go. So we can now, we should be able, let's go ahead and keep an eye out for any monsters around that did not despawn yet, but we should be safe to go ahead and head down to the mine. All right, so let's go ahead and shoot our portal. There we go. Let's go ahead and shoot our portal over here as well. Since we are dealing on this side of the mountain, let's go ahead and shoot it on top of this thing over here. There we go. Now we should be able to head down fairly easily. Already, we are now downstairs. We can now head down 
and I do not have a stone. Oh, I dropped all my stone into the chest over there. Okay, let's go ahead and head back into our base. Uh, that's not the way in because there's a door in the way. All right, we need some stone. We need to make a stone pickaxe, and then we can head down into the mine and start heading down like that. That would be excellent. Okay, grab some sticks and grab some sticks like that, and we got currently our stone pickaxe already. We do not need the... Actually, let's keep the wooden one. Let's keep the wooden one for now because we can use it. And, okay, we should be able to head downstairs now with our stone pickaxe and make use of it to head down into the mine and actually grab some metals and things that are helpful and survive our third night. Last time, we survived for 14 minutes. We survived barely a Minecraft day, not the full day. It was the middle of the night, and we died our first night, but now we should be able to survive long. We have survived longer already. Let's see if we can survive long enough to head to the nether, head to the end, and complete the goals of killing the ender dragon and the wither with not using any arrows except if we shoot it through a portal which you can actually do and if we build anything we have to build it with the portal gun and stuff like that but for now if you guys want to see more about that then tune into the next video and see you guys next week or in other things in the meantime but in any case